On this quick music production tutorial and Ableton tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can record the sounds internally in Ableton. This is also a technique referred to as resampling. And essentially, all it allows you to do is anything that's playing within your Ableton project, you can record it and have that audio file from it. This is super easy to do, and here's how we do it. Now, first off, I have my track Los Angeles. I've not released this yet, at least at the exact time of this video. I'll show you a little bit of it. This is not mixed or mastered or anything, but it's kind of like a housey record. So it starts off like this. Right, super, super housey and everything. And then it goes to this kind of riff. Like I said, it's still a work in progress, but it's like a fun record I'm working on. Here's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a new audio track and I'm gonna go to here and click resampling. Next, I'm gonna go over here and click this button. This means this track is meant for recording. So, boop, that simple. Now, let's say I wanna record anything within my project. So let's say I wanna record this right here. You know, as you can see, I've done this up here as well. So let's say I wanna record this right here, like just this soloed. Like say that, all I'm gonna do, like I said, now this is all set up in terms of resampling. This is the track I wanna record in. I'm gonna click up here to record. Now there are numerous different applications for this. I could go very in depth in a whole other video, but this is unbelievably useful. As you can see, I can convert in a sense, some MIDI notation into now an audio sample. If I wanna warp this, tweak it, do a lot of unique things in terms of chopping it up, or whatever, it's very easy to do that. And yes, there are different other ways to do this. I could always go here and do freezing and flattening. I've done videos about that as well. But let's say if I have two different elements, as you can see here, I have two different instances of serum, right? I have this one. So I have almost like a, like a fluffy pluck, if that's the right word, and then more of like a mallet pluck, decide to combine them to create a better sound. And in this case, I can record both of them at the same time using this technique. I can also do this for any other element in my track. And like I said, this allows you to record anything that's happening within your Ableton project.